opening thoughts? What, what do you think of the match? Well, I mean, even though we lost, I'm just proud of the boys. You know, we came out there with like a proper mindset, and you know, even though we went down, like the score is not really reflecting what came, what happened out there. We had four cores going three sets. Me ended up winning mine. You know, three of the guys losing theirs. Three of the six guys being their first collegiate match ever. Like, <clears throat> I've been in their position. So my first coach, I know it's not easy. So I mean, overall, I'm just happy and proud of boys. You know, we shouldn't be happy after a loss. Obviously, bittersweet, but you know, just happy that I managed to, you know, just get my last point against Florida. You know, potentially my last ever point against Florida. You never know what will happen in the future, but you know, like it was, it was good. Yeah. So overall, just proud of the team, and there's, there's good things coming, definitely. You fended off the shutout uh, uh, for, in this matchup there. What is it like for you to start off that this dual match season with a win in singles play? I mean, it feels a lot. It, it means a lot. Obviously, you know, uh, I haven't had. I've been really consistent in doubles, but I've never really had that much of a smooth sailing when it came to singles, like in my college career overall. So just to be able to pull that out, and you know, Will is a great player. You know, I know what he's done. I know how he plays, and I knew it was going to be a tough match. So for me to pull that match out, I believe he's ranked also. Like you know, that's like really important to me. Like, just gives me like a pretty big boost of confidence. You know, for the rest of the season and. I know this sounds weird, but I'm genuinely just proud of myself for pointing that out and for the way I managed to do it out there. You mentioned, uh, Coach mentioned you were recovering from a wrist injury during the fall. Can you tell me a little bit about how the, that recovery went and how, did, how does it and how does it feel now? I mean, you know, thankfully now it's all fine. You know, no pain whatsoever and everything. It was really worrying because I've had a surgery before I got to college on the same exact wrist, so it was like really worrying that I maybe I messed it up again or something. But you know, thankfully it wasn't anything too serious, just like a two month off. But obviously, you know, when you're far away from home and you have certain goals that you want to, you know, achieve and things you want to achieve while you're here in the fall, and you can't really do that because you got hurt. You know, it's mentally it's pretty tough. But once I managed to get back, that was just, you know, just. That's when you realize just how grateful you are for the time you get to spend on the court. And yeah, honestly, I'm just making the most out of it, taking it in. And because I know there's going to be a time when I'm going to be this moment. So I'm just really excited and happy for it. You, oh, okay, too. Okay. you were a, you're a, a, coming in your last season, late in course transferred here last year, but you have been here your entire college career really. And now you are the kind of the elder statesman, I guess, with this new group of a majority young guys. What's it been like to kind of take up that leadership role this season? I mean, it's a big responsibility. Obviously, at the beginning of the fall, I've been, you know, named captain pretty much of the team. So it's a big responsibility, and I'm just trying to make it as, you know, easy for them to get accommodated to the whole college environment because I know when I got here, no one really helped me with it, and I had to, like, kind of figure it out by myself. So I don't want them to go through the same thing. and. You know, I just want them to understand that this is, you know, more than it's more. It's not about winning or losing. It's just about having fun while you do it. And if you're having fun while you're doing it, you're gonna end up winning a lot of times. So it's a position I'm, I cherish. I'm grateful for it. And yeah, just I hope that the guys, you know, can look up to me in a certain way and hopefully I can help them and make them understand a lot of things. What do you want to see of this team in the end of the season? How do you want this team to be different at the end of the season? You know, just, I know we're going to grow. I like, that's a certainty. I'm pretty sure about that. Like, I just want us to, you know, be as close as we can and be like a band of brothers. And I believe that that's the way we're headed and that's the way we're feeling. You know, there's certain things we got to work on, you know, tennis wise and everything. But, you know, I believe that we're on the right track. So, definitely good things coming. Awesome. Thanks, Buggy.